Business shouldn't exist in order to create wealth. It should exist in order to give people better lives. So Ari and I opened the, uh, the Zimmerman's Delicatessen in, uh, in March of 1982, and, and we, were, we were right. The people wanted a really good sandwich. When we first started, we wanted to be unique. For us, by definition, that meant there's only one of you. We were never going to grow by replication. We would never open up a franchise or have a chain of company-owned delicatessens. Things were going really well for the first 10 years. And about 10 years into it, I started to notice things in the environment that were troubling to me. There didn't seem to be the same joie de vie. We were this small business in this little building, and we were busting out at the seams, and the management slots were filled, and we were young. We weren't dropping dead left and right. So if you were up and coming, and you wanted to grow financially, and you wanted to grow professionally, there was now a ceiling there. How are we gonna grow and stay true to that vision that we would never expand by replicating? So one day I, I drag Ari outside and sit him down on that bench in front of the deli. And I said, okay, we've been at this for 10 years. 10 years from now, what do we look like? So what we wanted to do in order to grow was we wanted to provide the opportunity to ownership in the brand to the people that work for us. So if you were entrepreneurial and you had passion for a given product or service, and you were, came out with a, with a compelling business plan, and you were willing to invest at some level that was meaningful to you, you're in the game with us. This is ownership. This isn't phantom stock. You are my partner. You are my peer. And we would be customers and suppliers of each other. People come and they're interested and you start talking to them and then they immediately go to, well, we're going to do this and then we're going to scale up and you know have this liquid event. And I go, okay, well, that's really the opposite of what we do. So if we're scaling up, which we do, we scale up by allowing employees to come and have ownership in the brand. There's now eight separate businesses that are run by 16 partners, and, and every one of those partners started as an employee here. I wanted the people that work for us to be able to afford to live into the community, to raise families, to send kids to school. And everything was going to be in the Ann Arbor area. We felt deeply rooted in the community and we didn't want to be traveling to some city because, you know, the, the, the coleslaw wasn't up to par. You know, without articulating it, I think we both had a concept in our head that there's this idea of having enough. So when you believe that, when you're not wanting more and more all the time. What's driving you is wanting to create something of excellence. It's liberating. What is this? Is this capitalism? Is this socialism? What do we have here? I don't know if it's capitalism. I know it's not socialism. I don't know what ism it is. Anybody can do it. It's just a lot of work, and I, but, but I would say try it. It's also fun.